So I have some context. Red and I usually go to Facebook Marketplace, find a bike we like, and then we buy it. And then we'll clean it up, make it look nice, and then we'll flip it. Sell it for a decent amount of cash. But then we started thinking, like, why do we have to stay on Marketplace? Now we're looking at auctions. I know a lot of you guys have heard of Copart uh, from YouTube videos and everything like that, but we live an hour away from the nation's largest heavy duty equipment auction lot, Richie Brothers. So we decided to go there and this is how that went. No, we were just about to start, but as something I totally forgot to mention, we're shooting for two golf carts, two of the very same golf carts, and that's what we're bidding for for today. A minute, 15 minutes? I don't know if I'm gonna get this. I'm currently regretting all of my life decisions. I'm gonna wait till closer. I'm gonna wait till closer just to. Oh, place bid, place bid, place bid. Yes, yes, yes. F are you kidding me? Oh my. To explain this chaos, after I click the confirm bid button, I will have closed on the first golf cart. Yes, confirm bid. What the f I did not know it took this long. That. What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? Couldn't join auction. Are you f***ing kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh my god, is this a joke? Oh my god. Sign in. Sign in. Sign in. Sign in. <gasps> that makes me so mad. No way. They ask you how you are, and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. Oh my god. Ah. Oh. So after the bid, we only got our hands on one of the golf carts for $37.50. However, after tax, it kind of went up a little bit, but we kind of knew that, so it's okay, whatever. Now we're gonna go pick up the golf cart without any real plan, because we don't have a trailer, only a truck. Uh, yeah, that's really it. Three hours later. So basically, this has turned into a complete show. The golf cart's dead. We're like an hour and a half past the time we're supposed to be here. We don't have a trailer. The closest U-Haul is is like, I don't know, 35 minutes away from here. So round trip, an hour and 10 minutes. I had to pay an 3% upcharge. And now they have, they have the golf cart on a forklift to get it to us because the thing is dead. So I don't, I don't even know how we're gonna get this out, but we'll see what happens. Look at him talking to other white men. This is great, this is great. When I tell you it's on a forklift, it's on a forklift, bro. So the guy was kind enough to try and make this work. We're gonna see what happens. I just wanted to add some context that we had no idea what was gonna happen if we try and load this thing. We didn't have a trailer or a plan, and this guy, absolute godsend of a man, was just like, do you want me to try and load this for you? <laughs> and he did. You got it? You got it? How do you feel about that? <laughs> that you, was crazy. How do you feel about <laughs> that happening? This man just freaking <laughs> loaded this. I mean, look at these freaking margins. Look at those margins. Dude is actually forklift certified. Like, bro, what? And it's, oh my Lanta. I cannot believe that. That was insane. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you feel about this whole adventure? We have a golf cart in the bed of the truck. Okay, we bought it. I barely <laughs> bought it at 1.30 this afternoon. We tried to go get it. It were freaking an hour late. And the only reason why they did it was because I went here with my dad <laughs> and I was just there with my dad. And then we come the next day and then they see me again and I'm here. <laughs> like that lady though on the phone though when we were trying to come, she was so rude. She's like, yeah. no, at five, if you're not here by five, no. Nope. That was that was Yolanda, but like she's she's actually chill in person. She's just not the boss. So mm -hmm. But she was nice. She gave me a Gatorade last time I was here. Uh, so, I don't know. Oh, I cannot believe that happened though. Now we go get some smoothies. Let's go. Yeah. Canadian corn? What is it? It's a Canadian corn. Yeah, nice. Pretty cool. Yeah, I guess so. And just like that, day one was over. Day two, all about touch-ups. All right, so this is day two of the golf cart. Uh, we're gonna go out there, we're gonna ride it some, then we're gonna clean it up. We get some of the corrosion off the bottom of the solvent type thing that I know that I know how to do. Once we do that, we're gonna go ahead and uh, get up for sale. So we just finished up with the wash. Next, we're gonna learn how to take off 
Here, this is where the sticker was, a little stickiness. And then I'm gonna show you guys how to get the corrosion off from under here. So as you see, there's a little bit of corrosion here on the motor. We're gonna use a good solvent to get that off. So what you're gonna need is some WD-40, a little napkin. We're gonna go ahead and spray it on there and then start taking some of that corrosion off of there. So as you can see already, you can see the difference. See that? The engine bay here is uh, basically the same as the underneath was. So I'm gonna be using this WD-40 again with this. Alrighty, so as you guys can see, this right here is kind of staying on there. But over here, this is looking real nice. See that? So, keep on working at it. Hopefully it ends up good. It's so the end of day two. Uh, day three, we didn't really get much footage of. We were just kind of working on it, and we found some really not so good stuff with it. Might have lost 4,500 bucks, basically, from this whole project. The thing doesn't hold a charge, like, at all. We unplug it. We charge it all night. We unplug it, and the thing just, like, boom, dies. So, um... We're gonna go have some like professional club car manufacturers look at it. And uh, yeah, that's really all we can do. That's so bougie in here, I'm not gonna lie. The guy talking behind the counter was the golf cart technician that looked at our cart and he basically threw a whole bunch of technical jargon at us and what he thought was wrong with the golf cart. So here are the noteworthy pieces that we can kind of summarize his whole little 15 minute spiel with. Car seems to have been submerged at one time, which is most likely why it got mm -hmm. auctioned. Okay. Okay, I get it, I get it. Whoa! What the? So, motor, the ballpark motor, I think they're like 15 to 18 hundred dollars. That motor is expensive. Oh my no, God! No, God, please, no, 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 no! It's the same kind of motor they would put in a Tesla. Once that's in, that eliminates the motor temperature issue, but it doesn't mean it's gonna eliminate DCM or cylinder weight issue. Those all three have to communicate. Mm -hmm. The only piece I can roll out at this point is the battery. So from the golf cart visit, we were able to establish that the thing has been flooded, which is not good news, but the good news we did get was that the golf cart's battery is still intact and holding a charge, obviously the most important part of an electric golf cart. Now I think what we have left to do is replace that motor, which was pretty pricey like you guys saw earlier. Uh, make sure the wiring harness is good and check if there's any more issues stopping the solenoid from working. But unfortunately, we are out of time in this video. So come back for part two, watch us install the motor because we're not having them do it because it's stupid expensive. And then see if we make a profit or loss. So thank you guys so much for watching, like and subscribe.